13 News Now is your back to school station. Changes to transgender student rights will not move forward in Virginia Beach. The school board shot down the updated policies from the Youngkin administration after five hours of public comments. And this comes just days after Governor Glenn Youngkin called on schools to adopt those changes. Alex Little Hales gives us a closer look at the debate. <laughs> Virginia Beach school leaders move forward still undecided on the adoption of the state's latest transgender policies. Those that oppose us talk about parents' rights to know, but what about our right to choose when? We want to help them. We want them to understand, but no parent should be interfered with between that social standard within the family. A split 5-5 vote at Tuesday night's school board meeting kept Virginia Beach from being at least the third locality in the Commonwealth to adopt the new guidelines. The high-profile policies, which are described by supporters as a parent's rights tool, have been criticized by LGBTQ plus organizations for focusing on birth sex rather than gender identity. But these policies do not empower good involved parents that love and support their children because those parents don't need a teacher or a principal or a counselor to tell them who their kid is that the 2023 model policies vindicate the privacy rights of young girls. Tuesday night's failed resolution won't be the end of the debate in Virginia. Spotsylvania and Pittsylvania counties have already adopted some form of the privacy, dignity, and respect policies. While in Northern Virginia, at least three school divisions, Prince William County, Fairfax County, and Arlington, have publicly stated that they will stay with their old policies. I'm Alex Littlehales for 13 News Now. Both Governor Youngkin and the Attorney General have publicly stated they expect school boards to fall in line with the law.